Welcome back to Los Angeles Coliseum. Vic Rauter along with Graham Leggett as we bring you game two of this 96 Gold Cup. You see the two captains at midfield. Number six, Colin Miller for Canada. And the referee, Ronald Gutierrez. It is 23 degrees Celsius. That's low 70s. It's humid and there's just a slight breeze. As we take a look at the starting 11 now for Canada and Bob Linarduzzi makes one change. Makes one personnel change, two positional changes. Forrest and Gold, the back four, Fraser, Fennec, Yallop and Miller. The midfield four, Holness, Hooper, Unger and Radzinski comes into midfield. Up front, Bunbury and Carlo Corazin. The starting 11, their Olympic team under 23. Dida is their goalkeeper, their coach Mario Zagallo. And they're playing with a 3-4-3. Dida and goal, Zamaria, Narciso and Carlinos, the back three in midfield. Conchecao, Luis, Amaral and Arofsen. And up front, the three strikers, Caio, Savio and Jamele. Welcome back to Los Angeles Coliseum. Game two of this 96 Gold Cup as the referee, Ronald Gutierrez of Costa Rica, makes his way to the center spot, and we should be just about ready to get underway. There you see Carlo Corazin, who scored one goal against Honduras. Alec Bunbury will join him up front. It'll be interesting to see the way Canada approaches this game. You get the first goal. He knows this is a young Brazilian side. And if he can get the first goal, he would feel that uh, they may just get their heads down a little. And right at midfield, it'll be Radzinski playing it forward for Corazine. And the young under-23 side of Brazil will pick up. The goal coming in the third minute of play. Your kids thinks again. And the second goal, two now in the first six minutes. Oh, the near side linesman Owen Powell of Jamaica. Fraser. Bunbury. Jeff Onger, Frazier nodding it up. Now volleyed forward, looking for Carlo Corazin. It will be a throw. Zimaria to midfield, and he'll give it away. Jeff Onger. And over the defender, Ian Frazier will leave it for Thomas Sredzinski. Looking for Bunbury. This is Corazine. Oh! He laid it back. Carlo Corazine laid it back for number 14, Jeff Onger. And Dida got there in time. And you can hear the crowd in the Los Angeles Coliseum chanting Dida, Dida. Certainly maintain Brazil's 2 0 lead with a super save. Radzinski's cross to the near post is volleyed away by Brazil. And side puts it ahead. No call there for Mr. Gutierrez. They can't get this ball to settle. Now it will for Jeff Onger. Three options. He's got about three players he can lay it off to. Whereas Canada right now are finding it tough to find one. Their 23 team, their Olympic team that will hopefully qualify. They have one more round of qualifying before Atlanta. Adelson sent a beautiful ball through there. Narciso to the far side. Zemaria. Caio gives it away. This is Hooper now for Canada. For Jeff Onger. Frazier. Has a look near sideline. This is Carlo Corazino. Oh, lovely tackle. As the captain Narciso came across to push it into touch. Having quite the battle 
with Alex Bunbury. So far, Alex hasn't won a ball in the air. Radzinski. This is Bunbury. Can't control. Hooper turns. It still rattles around outside the area. Fletcher chips it forward. Bunbury immediately surrounded. This Brazilian crowd love their football. They appreciate the football and they know their football. They all whistle for a bad move and applaud for the good ones. No question about that. Radzinski cuts it in over the head of both Corazin and Alec Bunbury. Interesting, the Canadians have flipped their, their wingers. Holness has gone as early as Jamelli pushed it through. Three nothing Brazil. We're still in the first half in Los Angeles. Goals at three, six, and 14 minutes. Luis, Caio, and Savio, and Brazil leading Canada three nothing in Game Two of this '96 Gold Cup from the Los Angeles. <laughs> Frazier with the throw in for Radzinski. <laughs> Luis, it squirts to Radzinski and another throw in for. You can expect it now. They are tough. Radzinski, it's flicked back to Hanger. Wasn't quite sure whether to hit it with his right foot or his left foot. I think the left foot would have been better, but it's not Jeff's favorite. But that's the second opportunity for Jeff Anja. The first forced Dita into a save. Hit forward and a little too far for Amaral. To midfield, getting up well was Corazine in between the two Brazilians. It skips away from Bunbury. Close the cow. Brazil will work it out. They, they just refuse to knock these long balls downfield unless there's no alternative. Jeff Andrew, Frazier, the shirts can. Bob Leonard Uzi quickly off the bench. Fraser has a look, chips it forward. Bunbury trying to hook it. And once again, number four, Narciso having a little kick. And this time, referee Ronald Gutierrez picking it up. He really is niggling when Bunbury collects the ball. Number four really clips at the ankle. Frazier chips it through. Hollinger got his head to it and just by that far post. Good try by Jeff Hollinger. Unfortunately, the angle was all wrong. Couldn't quite get it on target. But I must say, even if he gets it on target, it looks as if it will be tough to beat this keeper. Boy, does he look good. Tall, elegant, confident. Won't turn. Into the middle and then nodded away by Arlson. Oh, the foot up by Kayao. Well, Kayao's not going to get the free kick against him from him. And the captain, Colin Miller, a little frustrated, I think, as the ball will run to him into injury time here in this first half. Bunbury for Hooper. Look to slide it through for Jeff Anger. And there's the whistle from Mr. Ronald Gutierrez to end his first half. The first half that saw Brazil score three goals, as you can plainly see. And certainly, this Brazilian so called under 23 side, very good value for that three goal lead. 45 minutes complete. It's been all Brazil here in game two for Canada at the Gold Cup in Los Angeles.